Now, if you watched my training session from Wednesday, Powerlifting Wednesday, and you watched my Armageddon, uh, I did tons and tons of high rep uh, timed sets of triceps and biceps. Man, I am sore. Uh, so today I'm sore, th shoulders, chest, uh, biceps, triceps. Um, it's just a little bit, a little bit all over. Hips are a little bit sore. Uh, so I'm gonna take some extra time right off the bat, go ahead and get, uh, do some light stretching in the floor, maybe some smashing, things like that. Do some preventative stuff. I'm waiting for my pre-workout to kick in. Did take an ibuprofen today. Got a headache I haven't been able to get rid of through foam rolling uh, so far today. So I'm gonna do some work right off the bat to get me ready. The plan for today, other than jamming on the guitar, uh, I the plan is 80%, five sets of two. We'll see how that goes and if I can make that work. I'm gonna try using my big 25 kilo plates today. Um, the big fat plates feel different on the bar than the regular competition size plates. I think they feel much different. Talked to a couple other people who tell me they think it feels much different as well, uh, especially when you make the pull. I think they, they wobble, they feel funny. I don't know, there's something about them that just doesn't feel the same. Uh, but if I'm going to get used to them, I'm either gonna have to get used to them or I have to buy a bunch of new expensive uh, competition plates. So 80%, five sets of two, which will put me somewhere around 80 kilos for five sets of two. Uh, if I get the chance, I'll go up and uh, take a couple heavier singles. With clean and jerks, it'll be somewhere around 80, 85 uh, kilos for five sets of two as well. With the option for a heavier single or two after that. What you're gonna see me do in the weeks to come is I'm gonna lower the percent a little bit and go to threes. Lower it a little bit more, go to fours. Lower it a little bit more, go to fives. And then come back to a week like this and hopefully my 80%, instead of being 80 kilos, will be somewhere around 82 and a half, or I can play with it, half 80, half 82 and a half. And that's my slow progress over the year. But if I can make progress, technical progress, at 80%, slowly I can turn that 80% into 90%, and then I can turn that 90% peak and work on some absolute best in the 100% range. So I'm thinking long-term, thinking technique, thinking building, and I'm thinking progress. Oh, and by the way, if you hear me jamming on the guitar right now, I'm in dire need of some guitar pedals, dude. There's like nothing here in Cyprus. Nobody plays the electric guitar. Uh, and, and nobody has any, if you've got pedals, good pedals, um, I'm in dire need, contact me, bro. I need something. You can't play awesome music without gear. I mean, if you've got two ply, four ply, if they make four ply pedals, I don't know. If they make four ply squat suits and briefs, there should be four ply pedals. If you've got guitar gear, let me know, especially if you don't want it. In the meantime, let's get moving. Oh, 
All right, snatch with 100, uh, bad lift, missed it pretty badly. Um, it looks on the video like it was really close, but it wasn't. Watch carefully, I did not scoop early enough. The bar made contact, contact at the crease of the hip. Should have been making a little bit of scooping, brushing contact a few inches lower. My timing was off, I was bent over too much and all that put the bar too far out in front of me, didn't get my legs to use the bar to drive it up. The bar got out in front of me. There was no way to get underneath it, at least not with that shallow stance. Let's move on to cleans. Let's go, baby. Gotta get back to that rockabilly. Now I get lonesome, I jump on the telephone. Well, I get lonesome, I jump on the telephone. That was before Instagram. Or Snapchat. I call my baby to the field and hit my head like why? The baby won't move. Now flip, flop, and fly. cleans I've got the strength to clean some really big weight I can see even with the sets of 90 uh, a couple of my sets when I timed everything semi correct uh, the bar was coming up to my nose I had no need to drop under the bar at all it's why it irks me to see people doing a full clean or even a power clean with gosh 50 60 70 percent if if you're pulling hard if you're making a proper pull or a jump, as a non-weightlifter might call it, if you're doing that properly well, the bar is going to come up here on its own. There's no need to drop underneath it. You're teaching yourself bad techniques and bad habit. Uh, I think CrossFitters call it the uh, squat clean. Weightlifters don't do squat cleans. CrossFitters do squat cleans. Uh, thanks for inventing that. Not. So what I could see myself doing, what I could feel myself doing on the cleans, uh, I was not hitting the correct position. I wasn't staying over the bar. I wasn't hit, hitting that correct position on my legs uh, for the bar to fly up in a smooth motion. Feel my bicep pull just a little bit. Don't know if I'm using my bicep uh, or if it's just really freaking sore from training it really hard two days ago. Uh, but 100 was a solid number just to quit and stop there. I could do much, much more. But really, what's the point? I did the training at 90. That was the point for today. And then I finished off with pulls. The snatch pulls, man, those felt great. I, I finally hit that little scooping position correctly, at least semi-correctly, uh, on my thigh instead of slamming it into my hip bone. Um, and the bar flew up. Felt absolutely great. I think that was 120 kilos. 
that's a weight I should be getting really close to doing a full snatch with if I did it with some proper attitude. And clean pulls, well, this is where things really stand out that I'm doing them incorrectly. Uh, feeling both the snatch and the clean pulls a lot in my lats as I'm pulling them in, having to keep the bar close to me. Could be a body position error, could just be that I'm weak. I don't know, could be the injuries that I had last year with lats tearing, uh, and it's really showing up here. One thing that I'm seeing with the clean pulls is it's hitting my body in an incorrect position. It's making the brush, uh, the scoop, the contact incorrectly. Same thing that's happening on the regular cleans. So do I stress about it? Absolutely not. This is great that I found problems on my five sets of two. That means next week when I go to threes, I've got three reps on every set in which I can correct that. Now I know where I'm making technical issues at 80% and above it means I'm getting the I'm making contact with the bar in the wrong spot my body's in the wrong position next week I get more sets and more reps or more reps at least more chances more opportunities to fix those technical mistakes so this was the week where you figure stuff out next week we start correcting things till then we'll see you next time guys